Hey, so um, here I am. It's Saturday. Um, hard to tell in quarantine, isn't it? What day it is? Um, stressed, worried. Um, just done an hour kettlebell workout, so I'm absolutely exhausted. Um, got the laundry on. I just need to fill the rest of the day. It's seven minutes past twelve. Another 12 hours. Uh, what am I going to do? All day. Oh, God. Feels like every day is Sunday. Um, <clears throat> oh, feeling very negative at the moment with all this stuff about work. Can't do job interviews. Feeling quite bummed about everything. What do we do? What can we do? All the things I wanted to do are kind of up in the air at the moment. I wanted to go work for my brother's company, or brother-in-law's. Um, he's a labourer, he's enjoying it, but he's trapped in Spain. The British guy has gone AWOL. Um, country's in lockdown, seems like it's getting worse. It uh, doesn't seem that deadly, this virus thing. And then all this stuff's coming out about all these millionaires and billionaires who emptied their, sold all their stocks just before the economy tanked. Um, it's a bit of a joke, isn't it? I'm just worried about this meeting on Monday. If we do get sacked, what happens then? Oh, God, how do I explain it on my CV? Hmm. God. I do. Hemingdon's getting her wages until at least the end of April that it's being reviewed. So we just gotta live super frugally. My sick notes run out, so I should be being paid. But that's only three days income there, isn't it? Oh god. My dream of opening the food truck, which kinda died just before the corona. Thank god it did, because I was literally looking at taking out a loan to start the business <laughs> I was in contact with a food truck uh, manufacturer getting prices and things thank god I didn't do that thank god I was too scared to do that otherwise it would be uh, bloody oh my god imagine if I'd done that oh could be worse I'm quite healthy I'm in a tremendous amount of physical pain now though because that kettlebell workout my arse and my thighs are on fire oh sat in my bedroom worrying this job's made me worry just constantly my weekends I've spent worrying it's a joke it's ruined my life this job shouldn't have took it they lied to me in the fucking interview when I joined and they, then I, they put me in an unsecured team and I was there for two years and then I like had to fight to get into the secured team like go through a whole job interview and I got over didn't get a pay rise I had to fight for that um, they gave me a tiny pay rise and then they just closed the unsecured wing and brought everyone over to the secured wing and gave them a pay rise straight away bit of a bloody joke not mine but I was hitting the targets and things so it's, it's a sales job isn't it that's what the point was you just had to hit your targets but you know got an attitude problem don't like being told what to do don't like I don't like being told what to do. I don't like being given a task. And, you know, there you go. How about it? Constant feedback. Constantly all over you. It's awful. It's a dead negative environment. It makes you sad. It's a sales environment. That's the last thing you need. It's just madness. Oh. If I do get sacked, what do I do? Apply for other jobs basic jobs mm, okay I did want to go in that apprenticeship scheme but it's such a drop in income but then if I've got no income it's like um, a bit of a pain oh god just been playing computer games the last few days finally completed this little um, essay I have to do to apply for the civil service jobs 
um, they've got like certain things mm. like working together and being a leader and they've got a little description of what they want and then you have to write 250 words about what you do personal or professional that links to that so that's what I've been doing I've done it completed it my mate works for me and likes it just don't like sales I like talking to people and doing stuff I like manual labour just a bad employee aren't I I was bad at being Q I was bad at my management team I'm bad at my current job apparently just attitude wise I can I can hit my targets I've never been sacked for not hitting targets actually have I been sacked before well I kind of got offered a job and in the first two weeks they kind of took it away from me um, that was attitude as well I think because my first job after uni it was like a proper one so I kind of needed that kick up the arse god that was ten years ago still fully picture it the shame god I'd be so ashamed if I get sacked again oh but you know keeps texting me going they're not going to sack you but what the fuck's the email hmm hmm they're meant to be given three chances but they're saying gross misconduct how's it gross misconduct being on the phone to your mate who works a few deaths away oh is that a laugh and a joke I literally said I can't wait to fucking die uh, I'm going to say that in that meeting so you're not mentioning what I said in the call. I said, can't wait to fucking die. Why is that being ignored? I was taking the piss. It's not a bit of banter. Oh, God. Well, being very negative, aren't I? But never, I don't think I've ever done a positive YouTube video. Oh, God. Because no one's watching them, so it doesn't really matter. I'm a one fan, that nice lady. Um, yeah. Everything's perfect, except for work. Life wise. Really happy. Conquered my fear of flying. Got on a plane. Had a wonderful holiday. Absolutely amazing. Got back. Dragged into loads of meetings about being on the phone to someone I work with. That uh, was back in February. I was like, who cares? Get on with it. It was top thunder in fucking January and November. It was off in Feb. Didn't hit it. And so it's, everyone's complaining. It's like, oh, I can't believe you don't want to come in. It's like, I, you've handed in your notice, love. To get that job, you handed in your notice. Oh, you know, well, I wanted to leave for four years and I didn't. Because I was like, oh, I want to stay with my friends. But, you know, they're not really texting me that much. So I don't think we're actually friends. It's just work colleagues, isn't it? So I just feel like a fucking idiot for staying. Oh. But, you know, I needed to kick up the arse to change. I was too scared to do that nursing thing. My mate David's doing it. I mean, he loved it. That's when he had the bursary, the proper one. Gave him, and he's working and getting a bursary. And he's absolutely fine. He's loving it now couple of years older so he's my age now when he did it now it's like they get five grand but I don't want to go back to uni I don't like learning I like manual labour but then I'm 31 so will I like it in three years my body's falling apart I don't know don't know what I'm doing just flowing through life and it it's one of those white privilege things where Everything's kind of handed to you. So you never really need to fight that hard for things. Like I grew up poor, but we had enough food. Didn't really have anything else. Always hand me down clothes. First person in my family go to university. So yeah, they, they have had some difficulties. But, you know, I, I still went. I did a useless degree. Why did they let me do English? Absolute waste of time. Um, hmm, I don't know. Well, Monday, 
I'm the meeting over the phone because we're all in lockdown. We'll see what happens. I'll have a big cry. And then if I do get sacked, oh, I'll go work at Tesco or Aldi, I suppose. Mm -hmm. No, I need to kick up the air off anyway. Just flowing through life. Oh. Well, I hope everyone else is all right. Sorry. <laughs>